Hey there guys, DMO73 here, bringing you the second deck profile of the day. This is for uh, Josh Borsma from Team Memoria and his um, Shion Angel Flip deck. Um, it just It's really, really awesome. It's a really cool take on it. Uh, he used a version of this um, pre-Alice Cluster only to take actually 11th place at uh, AGP Pittsburgh. So kudos to him and his team for their hard work. This is just the Alice Cluster updated version. So let's dig right in. So this is Songstress of Shangri-La. Uh, she has the continuous ability to always being able to peek at that top card, which is super important because her main synergy with the deck is to be able to flip and bring out Celestial Wing Seraph really fast because when she enters the field, she reveals the top card of her deck. It's a resonator of level five, it costs five or less, comes into play for free. Uh, so you're always going to be working to set that up. Uh, she has 900, 1000. She has still the ability to look at that top card at any time. And the gods art of pay to blue. She gets 5-5 five, five for the turn and deals damage equal to her attack to 1J slash resonator. Really, really strong. Lots of pressure being able to put on really early with this deck. Um, you just definitely need to watch out. Stone base wise, uh, we run four of the Hymnals Memoria just for draw power um, and because the blue is important for her ability to be able to flip uh, and it lets you, uh, so when it comes into play, if she owns your J ruler or ruler, it comes in obviously recovered and you can call the cut top part of your deck. If you call it right after you reveal it, you get it into your hand for free. So it's essentially a free card every single time you call for a stone if you hit it. Then we run other colors too. So Ruler's Memoria is pretty important there, pretty standard. And then just two basic water stones to round out the stone base. Resonator count, we run the four Moon Breeze Elf to be able to help with some ramping, to be able to play Celestial Wing Seraph or Lucifer from hand faster, as well as to be able to help Judgment um, Shion quicker. Uh, three, Blessed Holy Wolf in the main. This is purely to be able to stop Barrier of Shadows, which can really wreak havoc with this deck, so that's why we, they main three. Uh, four, Valentina Puppet Master, to be able to steal things that are in Shion's way. And then the main thing is four Celestial Wing Seraph, and these are the four uh, demonic, fallen demonic, sorry, fallen angelic destroyer Lucifer. Uh, I have my four, but Nick is borrowing them for a deck that he's working on. Uh, so I, I realized that while I was sitting down to record it. So it's four Celestial Wing Seraph and four Fallen Angelic Destroyer Lucifers. Um, really, really strong combo. Celestial can bring out Lucifer, um, as we've talked about before in previous videos. And then Lucifer gets to um, kill a card on your opponent's side of the field. They have to sacrifice a creature. So essentially what happens is she owns flips, reveals here, gets one of these. Uh, so for three will, you're essentially getting a 9-10, a 10-10, and a 9-9. These two are both flyers and have the ability to give you life. So really, really strong if you can manage to flip it early. It's a lot of pressure that some decks just can't keep up with. It is a regalia heavy deck to make use of that turbo flipping. So it runs four Levitine for swiftness and pumps, as well as the ability to produce will. For Hydromonica, this is purely to be able to make sure you get that top card of your deck right where you want it, when you want it. Uh, for Deep Blue, for some will filtering, uh, as well as extra production to turbo flip faster. And then three Apollo to be able to bounce back Celestials and stuff as need be and give Shion flying if needed to be able to kind of just crush and run face. Especially if you can get one of these and a Levitine out when you first flip Shion, that's at least a uh, thousand damage that they're gonna be taking to the face in the air. Really, really powerful. And then for spells, just some basic counter spells, four walls of wind, and then two seal of wind and light to round out the package, just to cancel the cards that are pretty important in the early game to help you kind of set up because you're playing a lot of regalia early. So Will's not really that necessarily big of a deal. So again, huge thanks to Josh Borsma and Team Memoria for the deck list and the feature match. Let me know what you guys think, what you would change, uh, what you like about the deck in the comment sections down below. Like, comment, and subscribe as always. And until next time, this is DMO73 signing off.